Disgusting. Look at Albany. Kathy Sheehan. Do we like Kathy Sheehan? And I'm going to tell you right now, the next person who's coming up is going to be somebody who's going to clean up your backyard. It's going to be somebody who's going to make Albany great again. It's going to be somebody who is going to fight for you, the people. Listen to you, the people. They're going to be the type of representative that the founders of this country envisioned when they put together the representative form of government that we have. She's going to come here. She's going to she's going to absolutely light you guys up. Yeah, everybody give it up for Albany City mayoral candidate Alicia Purdy. My name is Alicia Purdy. I'm running against Kathy Sheehan for mayor of the city. What people don't understand about Albany, New York, is we are the seat of power in this state. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. right. right behind me is our capital. Right. And our mayor and her cronyism have taken us to a point where there was a mass shooting two streets over and one block up from where we stand right now that's last that's night. That's right. We are being shot to death in the street because they are too busy politicking around in the city of Albany, and I'm here as the people's mayor to bring transformation. The first thing I would like to do, do you know where they have the greatest mask mandate in the world right now? Afghanistan! People are masked in Afghanistan against their will. I'd like to take a moment of silence right now. My brother served in Afghanistan. A quick moment to thank them for their sacrifice and remember families who will forever carry the burden of grief and sorrow. We mourn with them as free Americans who understand what brave men and women held dear, that freedom is worth the fight. Please take a moment with me, just a moment, and let's think about those who fought and died in Afghanistan just in the last two weeks. Thank you. I'm here today as a clear and present danger to our failed incumbent mayor, Kathy Sheehan. I walked down the street just yesterday with Kathy Sheehan and her dear friend, new governor, Kathy Hochul. In her strappy sandals, toasting each other with hard cider and no masks on. Surrounded by friends, neighbors, press, security and doughboy pasty henchmen <laughs> who are not wearing a mask. We are currently right now in the city of Albany under a mask mandate for all city buildings and all city employees. And as I watched our incumbent mayor walk down the street and speak to little children on a hot day, all of whom were wearing their little tiny masks and sweating in the sun, she bent down and breathed her breath all over them and said, have a lovely day. When I am mayor of Albany, whatever it is you have to do, I have to do. Because a leader leads by example. It's only a queen that rises above people and looks down upon them. I was ashamed of Kathy Sheehan yesterday, representing me and my city like a monarch. And I stand here today as the mother of five children two of whom still attend Albany City Schools. When I told my daughters they would have to wear a mask again this year, my five-year-old burst into tears. She's going into first grade and said, I don't want to go back to school, Mommy. I don't want to wear that horrible mask. My nine-year-old cried and said, Mom, when you're mayor, can you help us? Can you talk to my school? Maybe you can help them understand. My heart broke for my children and my heart breaks for your children. They live in a world where they're crying out for help and we often feel helpless to do anything. And that's not true. Our children are suffering and being punished when shot science shows them to be the least culpable for what we have in a pandemic. If you want your children to wear a mask, I'll support your choice. If you do not want your children to wear a mask, I support your choice. This is about our freedom. each other's choice to care for our children and make decisions as we see fit for them.
It is not the government's responsibility to raise your children. It is an encroachment upon your freedoms as a parent, as a free American, and I stand against what the government tells me to do with my children. As a mayoral candidate, I'm running against Kathy Sheehan to transform Albany. And I'm tired of my children being a political pawn in this seat of power of the state of New York. Last year, I was almost convinced that wearing masks might help stop the spread. For a minute, they almost got me. <laughs> but then I noticed those very people were not wearing masks. Yeah. I noticed that there was information widely available and I will not look in the other direction. Mm. I will get loud. Yes. My place in this fight is that I'm running for mayor, but you have a place in this fight too. Yeah. You. you have a weapon in this fight and it's not just your vote. Maybe you're not running for school board, that's okay. Maybe you are. Maybe you're writing letters, maybe you're helping support candidates, maybe when someone, when tyranny comes for somebody in your town, you're an attorney and you step up and defend them in court. Maybe you connect them with your money and you help finance and make an example. Let's take it to the Supreme Court. Who's going to step up and help us? We don't stand here as powerless individuals in the state of New York. I'm speaking to all moms, dads, grandparents, caregivers of children in the city of Albany. Kathy Sheehan must be called into account for every idle word that she has spoken over the people of the city of Albany and you must demand answers. Pressure this woman. Rise up and vote her out. Kathy Hochul, same. In New York City right now, there's a vaccine passport on its way in September under the orders of New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio. That means your children, your children will not go to the movies with their friends. They will not go to a birthday party. They will not get into Denny's with you for breakfast. They will not go roller skating. You can't take them to the gym and you can't take them to the grocery store. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. That's right. Yes. I stand here today in Albany, New York, and I demand an answer from Kathy Sheehan. Mark my words. She's a well-known twister of the truth. She will not stop at a mask mandate. Kathy Sheehan, will you require a proof of vaccination in Albany, New York? Because I, as mayor of Albany, will not require proof of vaccination. <laughs> We had conflicting information about a very deadly disease and we wanted to stop the spread back then too. Does anyone remember the AIDS <laughs> epidemic? Yes. Did it transmit through blood, sweat, tears, a sneeze, a toilet seat? We didn't know. But what the government did not do was demand an AIDS passport for people who were infected with a deadly virus. The government did not require gay men or women or people that you just thought might be to show their papers to enter into society. And it will not stand today either in the city of Albany, New York. I will fight with every weapon that I have and I hope you will do the same. You have a weapon. You just need to figure out what that is and start shooting. Since we're in Albany, I should say, don't take that literally. Too many shootings here in Albany, Calf. The city of Albany and the state of New York are under mask mandates and my children and your children are suffering from fear, despair, exhaustion, psychological torment, and the hypocrisy of their government leaders like Mayor Kathy Sheehan, who breathes her free air all over little children covered in sweaty masks in the street on Lark Street yesterday. When is enough and enough? When is enough enough? People are pushing back and I'm glad. But this rally cannot be where the road ends. This is where the road begins. You must walk the path. You must walk your path. You have a different one than I do. I'm on my path. I'm a clear and present danger to Kathy Sheehan, and she knows it. She is aware that I'm coming for her job. I'm extremely vicious, and I never give up. to life and to sustain that life they're going to need to breathe free air you must speak on behalf of your children or someone else's children because it's not going to stop here 
This is the testing point to see how far they can go. We the people! We must stand and walk your path, whatever that is, to dive in front of the person coming for your freedoms. I'm Alicia Purdy. I'm running against Kathy Sheehan for mayor of Albany. I'm standing against tyranny and I will not permit the abuse of power in government to exist without repercussion. I call out every phony hypocrite who parades around my city with their political power and force my children to wear masks while they breathe free air. You can find me at transformalbany.com. The transformation of Albany is the transformation of New York State. Get in the fight, friends. This is how the world changes. All right, that's going to be hard to follow.